Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the linspace function to generate a row vector of equally spaced values in MATLAB. First, I'll introduce you to the syntax of the function, then I'll explain the function's input arguments, and finally we'll work a few examples in MATLAB. Let's get started! The linspace function is used to generate a row vector of equally spaced values within a specified range. The function name stands for linearly spaced. It is used when you need a set of points that are evenly distributed between two endpoints. Here is the syntax of the function where linspace is the name of the function and the input arguments are enclosed in parentheses. The function has three input arguments. x1 and x2 are the point interval specified as a pair of scalars and n is the number of points specified as a real numeric scalar with a default value of 100. The linspace function generates a row vector of equally spaced values between x1 and x2, where x1 and x2 are the endpoints. The third input argument, n, is the number of points, which has a default value of 100 unless specified by the user. The points are evenly spaced between the two endpoints. The spacing between the points, delta x, is equal to x2 minus x1 divided by n minus 1. All right, let's head over to MATLAB and work a few examples. Before we continue, it would be great if you'd click the like and subscribe buttons below. If you want to support the channel, leave a super thanks in the comments or click join to become a member. All right, on to MATLAB. Now that we're in MATLAB, let's use the linspace function to create a row vector of 10 values ranging from 0 to 1. The name of the function is linspace. The first two input arguments are the point interval specified as a pair of scalars, in this case 0 and 1. The third input argument is the number of points specified as a real numeric scalar, in this case 10. When I press enter, MATLAB returns a row vector of 10 values ranging from 0 to 1. The spacing between the points is equal to x2 minus x1 divided by n minus 1. So the spacing dx is assigned the value of x2 minus x1 divided by n minus 1. When I press enter, MATLAB returns the value of the spacing. Next, let's use the linspace function to create a row vector of evenly spaced values ranging from 0 to 1. But this time, we won't specify the number of points. The name of the function again is linspace, and the first two input arguments are the point interval specified as a pair of scalars, in this case 0 and 1. When I press enter, MATLAB returns a row vector of 100 points, the default value. You can also create a row vector of descending values if x2 is smaller than x1. So let's use the linspace function to create a row vector of 10 values ranging from 1 to 0. The name of the function is linspace, and the first two input arguments are the point interval specified as a pair of scalars, this time 1 and 0. The third input argument is the number of points, 10. When I press enter, MATLAB returns a row vector of 10 values ranging from 1 to 0 in descending order. 
All right, that's it. I hope this video provided you with a good introduction to the linspace function in MATLAB. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more, subscribe below. If you would like to support the channel, leave a super thanks in the comments, or click join to become a member. You can find me online and on social media at David Calamus and Spartan Professor.